There she is, Jeffrey. It's Jessica. How can I start a conversation with her? She's walking here, quick. Well, what, what should I say? What should I say? Oh, man. She's walked past already. She didn't even look at me. Next time, definitely I'll speak to her. Adonis. The most beautiful, feminine woman walks past Adonis. What do you think he does? He walks right up to her and starts a conversation. Jeffrey is watching from the bushes. How? That looks so easy. How did he do that? He just went up and he just said something. What did he say? Last night, I was just at Mike Thurston's place recording a podcast with him. He's like really attractive, really successful, like Chad looking type of guy. And he even said that for him growing up, the hardest part was to break the ice with a girl. Breaking the ice kind of means like starting the conversation. And when he said that, I realized that a lot of guys actually struggle with the first, like I'm not talking about your know, the deep relationship or even the date. I'm talking about literally, okay, you've seen her. How do you open your mouth to say anything to her? That's honestly the hardest part for most guys. A lot of guys actually, once they've had an okay little conversation, conversation they can go from there but so many guys will see the girl that's actually they're attracted to they'll hold eye contact with the girl they'll smile at the girl the girl will smile back and they'll say nothing because they're just not used to like opening up their mouths and i've had this before i've been in starbucks with my sister see a cute girl from like the side she looks at me i look at her she looks away i know what's gonna happen when a girl looks away when you've made eye contact don't look away she'll look back again this time smile give her like a little cheeky smile i gave her a smile she smiled at me and i had this thought okay i could stand up right now a proper like chad move and walk across starbucks and go interrupt her conversation with her mother and you know just say I could have done that. I did nothing. I sat there just coping. Like once I finish my drink, then I'll go over there. She stands up with her mom. They're about to leave. She's walking out and I'm literally thinking, wait, I could run up right now and just chase it down. Come here. Nothing happens. I don't. End of story. I don't regret it that much. I'm past that stage of like really feeling like if I don't go speak to a girl, but I have been there and so many guys have. Every guy has this story when you've looked into like cold approaching and speaking to girls where there's a girl that you could have approached, you could have spoke to and you didn't. And then you realize that regretting that decision of not speaking to her literally would have felt worse than her just rejecting you. Every guy gets this life lesson that regret is worse than rejection. And so today we're going to solve a way that you no longer regret seeing a girl and not speaking to her. I want you at the end of this video to be equipped that the next time you see a girl, you're actually going to not only be able to do it, but you'll actually feel good going up to her to speak to her. Now I started my cold approach, like starting conversations with girls around my time in university. Although it was still difficult, it was a lot easier because it was nighttime, it was in university, it was in parties or in nightclubs and everyone's drinking. So it was kind of like way easier to walk up to a girl in the middle of a nightclub and go speak to her. Like, you know, outside of like the um, dance floor, she's next to the bar or she's outside in the smoking area. The smoking area was always my favorite to go speak to girls. And obviously this is like degenerate stuff, but it really came in handy because this is an important skill. You might be thinking, oh, I don't care about getting girls. I'm like, oh, this is all degenerate anyway. Well, how are you going to meet the woman who's supposed to be your wife? How are you going to meet the woman who's going to have your kids? You're obviously not going to meet her on f only fans or something. You're gonna meet her in person and you're gonna to need to walk up to her and speak to her, aren't you? So no matter if I've practiced this in clubs or whatever, this can be useful even if you literally want like a good girl, like a wife. So I lived that life for a couple of years where I was going to clubs and I was practicing this, you know, starting conversations with girls. And then when I left that city and I went home, you know, I started all this stuff and I became productive, dopamine detox and stuff. I still wanted to level up my cold approach skill. So I'm not even lying, bro. I'd literally just go on like a half an hour walk every day and literally just go approach. I know it's like silly, like I don't, I wouldn't suggest doing this it was such a time consuming it's not worth it but i'm kind of glad that i did not that it was really high roi but i learned quite a lot that i can teach you right now so what i've realized is that there's a three-step process like to start this conversation with a girl and it's gonna seem so detailed but just trust me on this if you can understand this three-step process it's so easy the first step is like when you actually see the girl that you now are thinking okay i'm probably gonna approach her the reason why this is an important step is because you literally need to go and see the girl in your fucking vision to go and approach her most guys live a life where they don't even see see girls like maybe you do in school for example or in the workplace but so many guys spend most of their days just inside looking on the computer screen and so you don't see women with their own eyes maybe you see them in, on instagram but that doesn't count we're talking about real not like digital shit you need to be outside more now i did this by literally just going on a daily walk and just finding women to go speak to it's a bit cringe i wouldn't recommend this but what i would do and i would suggest to you which all high value guys do is be open to speaking to girls as you go about your normal day-to-day -day life so don't leave your house to go and try and find some women to go speak to you. that's just sad honestly like i look back and almost cringe when i did this but i'm glad that i can you know give you the experience don't go out looking for women but go out of your house to go to the gym to go shopping to do this to do this to do this and there in those environments where you were gonna go to anyway speak to those girls so get out into the environments where it's just the gym or the cafe you know things that you do outside of your house you need to specifically just be outside of your house i know this is silly but i guarantee you're not better than this i guarantee you're watching this thinking oh i'm just gonna skip over i guarantee you're not better than this i 
guarantee that you would see a boost to your dating life and the amount of women that you're speaking to if you actually set the intention to get outside of your house more. You spend most of your days in your house, on your phone, on the laptop, wondering why you can't get girls or wondering why all girls are thoughts because you're meeting them all on Instagram or all on Tinder or something. You need to simply be outside your house more. The easiest way to do, go for a walk every day. The best way, go into the city where there's a lot of people and be around those areas. So you get outside and now you actually have women in your vision like you will actually see women that's step one most guys won't follow this step they'll be interested in the other two steps maybe they've already skipped over and they're gonna keep wondering like oh this is it's not working for me it's because my genetics and stuff if the guy skipped this step i guarantee the next two steps won't work once you have seen the, the woman that you want to approach and honestly you only get like a split second for this you see okay this is the girl you want to go speak to the way to start this conversation and i'm talking with a stranger right if there's a girl who's in your class and you you've got some similarities it's a lot easier to speak to her because you can just say like oh have you done the homework today and start the conversation but i'm saying let's teach you how to speak to a complete stranger so that it's actually easier to speak to like female friends or anyone else that you know right so there's a girl there which was step one that you see her step two which is so like again specific but trust me this is so important step two as soon as you see that girl is literally command your legs to walk towards her this is the most important like step and trust me if you don't do this step it won't happen you must command your legs to walk towards her without thinking anything as soon as you walk towards her you start to feel a lot more bold when you see that girl and you spend some time thinking oh okay should i approach what should i say what should I say trust me when I say that you won't end up approaching what you need to do is walk over there without a pre-built sentence in your mind you see that girl maybe 10 meters away and you literally command your legs walk towards her walk towards her walk towards her and then part of step two is to also get her attention physically by doing something like yo excuse me like this stick your hand up and she, so she sees you it's absolutely normal in this step that she might be a, a, a bit you know weird a bit scared straight away this happens literally I've even seen videos of chads go, like approach girls and she gets a bit scared because it's quite abnormal right usually when someone stops you on the street they're quite shady people they're scammers they're asking for money or something so it's normal so when you do see her instant reaction don't be like scared by it don't like you know look at her body or anything just just assume oh yeah you know a little scared girl whatever yeah oh I scared did i scare you oh i'm sorry but that's fine that's step two step two is so important most guys again won't even do this because they'll see the girl and they think no no but i, I can't go over yeah i've got to think of something no specifically you need to walk towards her before you have thought of something because when you think of something it's too late you can't sit there and think oh what should i say should i approach her because at that point it's gone you literally see her from step one step two as soon as you see her literally just command your legs just walk towards her. and i know you're scared because you're gonna think wait what do i say what do i say hamza trust me when i say just walk towards her get her attention yo excuse me hello excuse me something like this now at step three she is in front of you you have got her full attention she's looking directly at you you're looking at her step three say something now the thing is if you're waiting for me to say okay say this exact line, i know that you're never gonna do good with women you know why because you can't treat women like this base like online you can right online all women are bots until proven otherwise online like all women are literally just the, all they deserve is like copy and paste messages up until she's met you in person and then you put more effort in but in person when you see this woman you can't just have a copy and paste sentence to say to her you can do that on tinder you can do that on instagram dms but in person you can't just think okay the first thing i'm gonna say to say every girl that i approach is this sentence because it seems fake you walk straight up and whatever naturally comes into your mind i found that when you let your brain think on the spot you actually do a lot better than if you've preemptively thought of this and your brain's gonna disagree right now and that no no i'm way better with preparation if that was true you'd be great at approaching girls anyway wouldn't you you wouldn't need this video i know my way is very scary because i'm literally saying okay you walk towards her before you even know what you're gonna say there has been time i'll be honest with you there's been times where i walked over to a girl and i don't even know what i'm about to say i stutter or something and i'm like oh sorry i thought you were someone else and then she goes it's embarrassing it happens right but there's been a lot of times where i'll just walk towards her and instantly my brain will just come off of something where i just like you know see something on her that she's wearing or i say something or there was a girl who was holding like a bag of kfc i was like what did you buy what's in there another girl recently she's like taking some supplement or something so i walk over there i'm like what is that and she shows me it's like black seed oil and she's telling me about like uh, the prophet muhammad was taking this and it cured all diseases or something literally just go over and just allow your brain to say something naturally the reason why this seems scary is because you have detrained your brain's natural ability to be good in a social conversation and now you're watching videos on like social anxiety and videos like title like how to never run out of things to say you need to train that again so that you can actually be good with girls and so follow this three-step process step one actually see her get outside see more women in person step two command your legs to walk towards it get her attention yo excuse me step three you're already there now just allow your brain to say some kind of observation or question to her you might be pissed off because you're thinking oh man i wish she just told me like something to say the issue with that that this pre-prepared question is that this will actually make you less likely to go and approach because then you start to practice this sentence in your mind and it adds to the mental turmoil if right now you i just tell you okay just go up even if you're not going to say anything just go up and you'll get some experience of you know walking towards a girl and getting her attention that's still positive but if you won't even go up because you're 
overthinking about, wait, should I say this, that, that special copy and paste sentence? Should I say it? What if I stutter when I say it? And you don't end up doing it. The three-step process, you can literally go out and try this today and I guarantee you'll have better results starting conversations with girls than you've ever had before. Click and watch this video about dating right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah!